Hey guys, I know I look rough. Mind your business. I think I can pretty much kind of sort of guess why you are here. It could be because one, you've been thinking about gardening for a while now, but you haven't been quite sure on how to start. Or it's because all of the fucking panic shoppers have taken everything out the store. So you figure, well, might as well just grow it myself. I can help you with that. If those reasons are not in fact the reason why you are here right now, then I suck at being psychic and I do not need to try and do that full time as a job. And you don't even have to buy the seeds to regrow the food. I'm about to show you guys five different vegetables that you can regrow right now using just the vegetable or the scraps. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, there's two ends. There's this side with the bulb, and there's this side where you'll have the roots. Now, you're gonna to wanna to cut, not too much, just about an inch. And I almost sawed my picture up there. So you're gonna to wanna to do this, and then you're gonna to wanna to take this outer layer of peel out, because if left in the water, that outer layer, it can mold, okay? So you're gonna take off the outer layer. You don't have to take off all the peels, just that outer layer. There we go. All right, so I got off all the outer layer, and then you can see on, wrong one, on this end where the roots are gonna be coming out, that's the part that I put in the water. And now I didn't completely cover it in the water. Just a, a thin little mount to get the bottom of it covered. That's how much you're going to put in the water. Just enough to cover the bottom of it. You're not going to completely cover the entire onion. Just the bottom part, okay? Now another thing you can do is you can do sweet potato. Uh, you can leave it whole or you can cut it in half. I cut it in half so I can make more because I eat a lot of sweet potatoes. So the other half is in a jar as well. Except the other one, I didn't need the toothpicks because it just sat in there perfectly. Now, I did the same thing when I put it in the mason jar. Just the bottom part of it is covered in water, but you don't want to cover the whole thing in water. You just want to get a little bit of it underneath the water. So just cut it in half. You can either stick toothpicks in it like this to get it to prop up on the mason jar if it's a, a size that's you know gonna slip in and fall. Or if it's like this one and it's not gonna go anywhere, you can just stick it in like that. Now, I did two things. There's two ends of it. There's the end that's the pointy and there's the end that's dull. So over here I have the pointy side and the dull side in the water because I'm doing an experiment and both the pointy and the dull I have over here on my little stand out of the sun and then in the windowsill I have the other ends of both of these potatoes because I did two potatoes and in the window I also have one pointy and one dull uh, same as this you know halfway into the mason jar but those are in the sunlight and these are not but I have both the pointy end and the dull end in the water. Now you can do either just pointy end or you can do just dull end, but as I said, I'm doing an experiment, which is the reason why I did it the way I did. Fun fact, even though they have the same name, russet potatoes and sweet potatoes are not in the same family. Now the russet potato, again, I cut it in half, but as you see, the bottom of it is now up as opposed to the way that I did the sweet potato. And the part that I actually cut is the part that's submerged in the water. Now, one thing you're gonna to wanna to do with the russet potato is don't just do two sides of the toothpick, don't just do three toothpicks. You're gonna to want four toothpicks because the potato is gonna to wanna to flip. Now over here in the windowsill, those are the other two halves I told you about. Now, this is romaine lettuce. You could do romaine lettuce. And the way that you do the romaine lettuce is gonna be the same way that you do the cabbage that I have over here. 
and you can use a clear bowl you can use a mason jar it doesn't really matter uh, for any of these now what you're going to do is the bottom part where that stump is you're going to cut it but you're going to make sure that you still have a little bit of this part on there when you cut it okay don't just cut off this part you want more than just that okay so you're going to cut some of this with it and then you're going to just place it straight down in the water only half of it in the water same way with all the other things now the cabbage I kind of messed up a little bit when I cut it <laughs> the reason why there's two different ones but it's going to be the same thing you're going to have that little stump part and then it's it's going to come up more than this but as I said I messed up when I was cutting it but you're going to cut off that little stump and then you're going to put the bottom of it down in there that's the same thing that this part is this was supposed to go with this but I messed up when I was cutting it but there's the stump part part of it and then you're going to place that down in the water as well and it's the same thing you do not want to fully cover any of these items you just want a little bit of the water okay now these this is the perfect time to start growing these things in March. We grow sweet potatoes, potatoes, yellow onions, green onions, cabbage, lettuce, tomatoes, avocado. All of those you can regrow without going to the store and buying a seed, which will come really in handy right now, not only because they're going up on prices on the seeds, but let's face it, panic shoppers are freaking taking anything. I noticed because I went to the store yesterday and the cost of water, normally I get the 40 pack of water and from where I, the store that I was getting it from is usually $2, but now it's going up, up to $3 and I'm a frugal person and I don't like that. I always get the cheapest stuff no matter what. I don't care about the name brand. I get the cheapest stuff. So it really made me mad that the stuff that I was going to the store for, the prices were all of a sudden going up. So I said, you know what, screw this. Between stores price gouging and the panic shoppers taking everything, I might as well just go home and do this shit myself. We are gonna start our gardens together, people. Because if there's one thing that this whole coronavirus pandemic has shown us is that you cannot trust your neighbor they don't care about the herd they're just gonna take all that shit to their fucking house and leave you fucking hanging i did see where a whole bunch of people like stockpiled a whole bunch of shit at fucking costco and now they're trying to return it all that's what you fucking get you greedy motherfuckers pretty much a lot of the foods that are like the basic staples from the food you already have. You don't have to buy the seeds. You can regrow it from the actual. The scraps. Come on, you guys. We're supposed to be quarantining. We're supposed to be staying home. Why not start a fucking garden? Huh? Things you can do year round. Um, but some things. Uh, March is a really good time to start. So. <laughs> Go get the shit, people. Some things are more um, February through April. Uh, some things are from March on a little bit. Some things start in April. But th the point is, what I'm trying to say is, right now is the perfect time to start a lot of, there are a lot of good uh, foods that you can start indoors this time of year this is like the perfect time to get them growing now this is just to get you started if you haven't already went out and got like soil and pots and stuff like that you can get started literally with just the food and a bowl or a jar and water and actually if you have eggs you can actually use uh, the little the eggshells for those of you who eat eggs you could use the eggshell and put some soil and stuff in there and you can get started that way indoors there's a lot of different ways that you can get started indoors i will make a couple other videos but for right now this is just a video getting you guys started on using uh the food that's already in your refrigerator just getting started with scraps or bottoms uh things you already have right now 
Uh, if you don't, you could easily go to the store and get these uh, food items because as I said, you do not have to have a seed. Some of these do not grow from seeds anyways, but just for anyone who's been thinking about gardening and they're trying to figure out where to go to get the seeds, again, if you want to go the seed route, that's fine. Go ahead. But please take notice that some stores are now going up on a lot of the prices and seeds are included and in the things that they're going up in the price for. And so if you're frugal like me, just go ahead and start with, you know, the food that you have around in the house. And you could do the same thing with uh, an avocado, the pit. You could use that. I'll do a video on that. Green onions. It's the exact same way that I did the yellow onion over there. Uh, I'm going to make a part two, but I was just really excited. So I wanted to come and show you guys uh, a couple ways that you guys could get started like right now. Um, and I will be making a lot more videos on gardening. I will be helping you guys get this together because clearly the panicky people don't give a crap about everyone else. This whole COVID-19 to show you guys that you cannot rely on your neighbor. You cannot rely on the economy. You cannot rely on anyone else but yourself. So you're going to have to start growing, you guys, because panic shoppers are fucking taking everything. So, all right. I hope that helped. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to make another video. I will be back. But this is just the starter video for getting started with the scraps and pieces and stuff that you have lying around your house. The things that you normally would discard are the things that are literally in your refrigerator right now. This is just the beginning. I will be back. So, see you soon.